I'm Taryn Simon, and my most recent work is titled A Living Man Declared Dead and Other Chapters, 1 through 18. I was looking at ideas surrounding fate and whether our fate is determined by chance, blood, or circumstance. The project primarily represents people, but there is one chapter in which I represent the bloodlines of test rabbits. A British settler brought over 24 European rabbits to his estate in Australia in 1859 for hunting purposes. And within 100 years, the rabbit population exploded to half a billion. European rabbits have no natural predators in Australia, so they compete with native wildlife, degrade the land, damage native plants and vegetation. Since the 1950s, Australia has introduced lethal diseases into the rabbit population to control growth. The rabbits that I photographed were in a controlled test at a government facility where they bred three bloodlines of test rabbits from wild rabbits that they had trapped. Scientists had infected them with a lethal disease, so they were waiting to see if it would effectively kill all of the rabbits and most of the rabbits died in the course of this trial, and those that didn't were euthanized. To counter the annual celebration of rabbits and make people more comfortable with the killing of them, Hayes Chocolate, which is a leading chocolate producer in Australia, in collaboration with Rabbit Free Australia, stopped all production of the Easter Bunny and chocolate and replaced it with the Easter Bilby. The Bilby, native to Australia, is rabbit-like in appearance and was driven to near extinction in southern Australia, partly because of the European rabbit. The work is really about looking at the collision of the external forces of power and governance, geography and religion, butting up against the predetermined and unalterable order of a bloodline. <laughs>